Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Hellgate London, the Steam version. My name is Wilfred. So I've met the brothers uh, yesterday, the, um, after meeting the mother and the father and the sister, finally the brothers, two of them. Um, the, uh, it was rather interesting. Uh, I've, I, I've, I've caught, I repaired the train and it took all the survivor into Exodus. Uh, and then I battled this demon. And after that, I opened a portal to meet the brothers. Um, so that was pretty, pretty much the story. Um, after that, I am returning to the Templar base somewhere here in this map here. So, uh, you know, I managed to open up quite a fair bit of area. So it started off here, the headquarter to the Holborn station, go all the way down here, then go all the way to here, up to London Bridge station, then all the way to the Tower of London, then our gate, then take the Exodus into the uh, Templar base back here. So from then onwards, I think I may head to, um, I don't know, Liverpool. We'll see how it goes. So now um, that that is where things are, returning to the base. And as you can see, there is no more Maxim, who was the uncle before. Now there's a Af Afoun. Right. So, okay. So this guy looks mean. Let's see. So, Emara told me about the ambush. If there were any doubt that Sindona is uh, keeping tabs on our whereabouts, the slaughter of the Seraphine dispel them. Time, take time to rest first. You must be exhausted after all the encounter recently, which. Well, okay, it was a rather long encounter, to be honest. Um, so I feel rested, of course. Let's uh, talk again. Okay, in, in one second's time, I look much better. Uh, and um, and you as well, uh, and Mara. I believe it's a good opportunity for introduction. All right, so there is the... Well, where is the... Uh, oh, oh, wait, hang on. So this is the guy. So Jessica has been promoted me to uh, whatever rank it is. So um, so she is the grandmaster. Fantastic. We are still in this game, you and I. We are still in this game, you and I, definitely. And Mara, she is the one that um, the, you know, whatever. So oh, hang on. So there is a question mark there. Wow, well, why, why is there a question mark? Then, uh, of course, there's the uh, Mumur. Come to brighten my day. Uh, Liverpool Street Station is dangerously close to Hellgate. Much of the area lies in ruin, but Hellgate must be contained so that it does not flood London as it did so thoroughly during the invasion. So I'm heading to the Liverpool, and in order to do that, I'll need to head to somewhere um, like... Um, This is not helping, man. They, where, where on the earth is Liverpool? So I need to head to, ah, uh, there you go. I need to go to Manu Monument Station. Oh, this is going to be an interesting video. I'm going to go to Manu Monument Station, head to Mart Lane approach, Mart Lane Station, Liverpool approach, and then Liverpool Station. I hope I can make it there in one piece. Um, so, well, without further ado, I do what a hero does. Um, just head off to, to, to the, to the transporter. This is the one that I could take a train to a monument station. Let's see. Sometimes they give me more quests here. Yes, I knew it. Um, so in my last video, I spent 100 minutes to do one no video, but really, it's not really that traumatizing. Um, so it, it is really not that hard. Um, some of the missions can be quite easy. Some of them could be a little bit more tedious, but they're just part of puzzle of a game like this one uh, so you know you could read it all but I, I don't really meet, read that much uh, into all these things um, yep so then I need to have the uh, some in Mark Link approach some in the Liverpool approach uh, let's take a look again Mark Link approach Mark Link approach and Liverpool approach you know from my experience it's good to head to Mark Link approach and after that finish the task teleport back and then if they give you extra tasks to do in Martling station then you do that um, so it's <laughs> yeah I, something I learned is a little bit the faster to do all these things now the one in yellow means that I've got work to do so that is it uh, before I had there probably a little bit more on the build I'm having right now so I decided to um, you know go go pretty f invested in the swarm because I really like the spell uh, even the um, the, the, the venomous spirit that fear and also does does damage as well I think. Um so I kinda of like it 
uh, like this one here. I put one point in zombie form so that I could have to wield the focus items, uh, which is the claws uh, on the uh, on the hands. Um, so this one give me the extra armor if I need to. Um, well, increase armor, so I become a little bit more durable, I guess. Uh, demon wise, I still like the uh, witch doctor a lot because it does heal everything, and uh, to keep keep him alive, I, I I use a blood link, and it's kind of fine. I I could put more point to it, but the good thing about this one is that um, I could uh, heal my demon in between the fight, and my demon will immediately heal me for the health that I sacrificed. So that synergizes it quite nicely. I still would like to have all this elemental a little bit more if I could. Um, level 30 I could actually do this one here because I could um, have a power, power pool reduction by 10% or even more if I invest more points with it. So if you want to do full summoner you probably probably would like to put a lot of points in this kind of area to, to boost up the number of uh, pets that you have or you know do a little bit of necromancer if you want to like me. Uh, that's fine too. I'm still fine tuning my build. Uh, gear wise I mean I already nearly maxed out all my requirements so um, it's not like I have a lot of like leeway to equip any upgrade. So any upgrade I have to put quite a lot of points to make it happen. Mm, okay, so that there, there we go. Let's go and summon my witch doctor and then use a concentration and then summon my uh or my elemental. Alright, so after a while you can't get it. Um Whoa. So there's a poison I've got. A bit of concentration just have to keep my eyes out and what is hurting my character what is not whoa uh, well that was quite a, uh, quite a fight because normally I would not lose a demon that fast into it uh, have I been losing up uh, have I missed up something I don't know Uh, there's some chest here, so my uh, my my summon can do what they do best, which is just uh, kill things while I'm uh, while I'm uh, looting stuff here. So I'm being uh, phased, I think. So phase is a debuff for me, so uh, I could drink a potion if I want to, but I find that the potion kind of like um. You know, it's not that I could buy unlimited amount of potion. So, whoa! I use um, I use something called the uh, elemental nova to do some AOE. Okay, this is the the messenger of hell because I've completed 30, 30 um Oh no! Hang on a second. What on earth? <sighs> Sorry, guys. I mean, it's uh, so dumb of me. I should have like um use my auto dispenser so uh, with the auto dispenser you kind of like you know all these things become quite quite easy otherwise you do it manually i don't know whether the uh, revival mod or the london 2038 which is the free kind of like an online gameplay for the Helge london if you have the original version the us version shall i say um i think oh what what is this hmm, blueprint so there's some blueprint uh Ooh, I could actually create this guy. It's a level 31, same level, but I need to have more willpower in order to use it. Uh, but it gives me a little bit more luck and the accuracy and power pawn. Um, not, not a bad one, but the other one gives me the kind of minion damage, so um, it's not that I, I really want... Uh, uh, oh, wow. Okay, so let's see. Rare. So now I will auto dismantle stuff. I don't need to... Alright, I've got some charged cell. So here is the one that I would head down. Some flying, flying object as well. Alright, six of them. So I need a little bit more um, stuff. A little bit more like a charged cell, I think. I can dodge if you want to.
Yep, uh, this is a power. Oh wow, this is the power. This is a cell land, man. So this is an AOE that uh, I'm using the Nova, the Elemental Nova. So now, as you can see, done. You know, everything is done. So I don't really need to. I can return back and see whether there are more quests to be done. Um, sometimes they do that. So I I could do something like uh, there's a personal, there's of course personal re relocation device. So I can use that. And meanwhile, you could also take some time to understand whether some of this gear is something you want. Level twenty eight. Um, it's not something I I think I want. Um, yeah. The uh, this one is a rocket pistol. Level 29, 28, 29. So I, I, you know, I could use a pistol if I want to, but it seems to me that I require quite a lot of like accuracy or strength. Neither one I have. Uh, it's not like it's a, it's a, it's not like it's a great gun that I need to. I must use it because my focus item is about uh, level thirty three and thirty one. So that's that wasn't really an upgrade per se. Uh, although it could be a different style to it. Uh, I could craft something like no, this one there's no use because uh, it's not something I could use. So, oops, um, yep. A bit of Tetris here to uh, to move things around. So, yep, uh, yeah, there you go. So two mission done. So it's not like a long and tedious game. Some some may think that uh, it's actually rather, rather straightforward. Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> so ID powers are, well, I don't know. These are all pretty rubbish stuff that I may as well use. Up. Oh man, whatever. I don't know why I picked that. Uh, probably a mistake anyway. <laughs> you could use it to uh, to mind control a weapon. So that is the, it's a mind control weapon. I don't know whether I should keep it or not because my stash is very limited. So this is a focus item. Uh, require a lot of willpower. Let's see what kind of like a mod do I have on this one here. So see, there is uh, another quest. So it was a. Uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a good kind of like you know go go back here because I, that there's a quest that I would have like have to come back here and then have to go back kind of thing so at, at least I don't need to do that anymore. Now this is the reward. Let's see what kind of reward I've got. So this is a uh, oh that is very interesting. But the cost is very oh actually I could afford it. Um man, this is a this is a tough choice. Uh, Broom's Curse is not something I use. Spectral Bow is not something I use. Uh, but Venom Armor is something I use. War of Bone is not something I use. So I would think that the rest of it, although it's a lower kind of like DPS wise and lower kind of level, would be better because I have crit damage um, bonus, increased damage, um, and the other one is uh, multiply and 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 a venomous spirit. So it's probably not something that I would uh, think too hard right now. Uh, probably not in this video. And I I knew that I would not have enough space anyway. So I don't know why, I, <laughs> why I come back here and take a look at these things here. Um. So maybe I just take away and use this one here. Put it there first. And then usually I'll take this opportunity to clear my stash because uh, you do collect a lot of the stuff along the way. Um. I don't know why I picked this thing up. Uh, some of the thing after a while, you know, kind of like know which one to put, which one to uh, sell, which one do not. So, yep. Um, so you could sell like this one uh, because this has uh, all the mods inside. Or just like hold the shift button. Yeah, as you go. Okay, done. Goodbye. Right. So that is uh, that's done. Okay. Now go back to my uh personal kind of like reload location device or whatever it is yep uh, so now I have to uh, man I, I can't remember I came down right if I if I came down or I did not came down I think uh, yep that's it I came down mm. uh, narrow corridor all right done It's kind of hard uh, when it comes to narrow corridor. Well, you could be thorough off and sort of like check all these things, but uh, see whether there is some. Uh... Yeah, that was fierce, by the way. But there's a chest. I I found that the chests are not really that um, attractive in this uh, base game or in this game. 
the uh, well, there are some analyzer, but analyzer often is um, um, quite cheap when you are at this level. So there's really no no reason for you to explore too much. Of course, you could take down a little bit more mobs uh, so that you could spawn the messenger from hell, and that would give you very attractive gears uh, if you're lucky enough. Sometimes I do have some good stuff. Um, yep. Uh, one more, and uh, then Messenger of Hell is there. There you go. Easy, huh? Just nice, a Messenger from Hell, and then after they head to Mark Lane Station. So this is the Mark Lane Station. Um, it's infested by demon and all. 70! mods and I could spawn the... So it's a large map, but very likely I'll have some frame rate issue. I find that small maps are quite okay, but large maps are the one, large map are the one that give me a problem, to be honest. Let's hope it doesn't, because uh, it's not a pleasant for you to watch, uh, nor pleasant for me to play <laughs> a game that's lagging, like a slideshow. Uh, it's like uh, back in the old day when you play MMO, it does kind of happen. You know, it remind me that um, last time when you play, I don't know how many of you play World of Warcraft, a classic edition, when you are not from US. Uh, there, there are some five man dungeon or ten, ten to ten man dungeon or whatever. To, um, you join a group and everything is just like a slideshow when you play. Um, that kind of feeling, but you still play the game uh, despite the fact that it's so. So uh, not not fun because everything just lagged out. So it, it, in a sense, it give me the kind of like a you know kind of remind me of uh, why I'm playing the Helgi Land. And although sometimes it it just it's just not very uh, fun when there's a frame rate issue. But uh, it's just one of those things. I mean, you know, if, if the game is kind of fun, you, <laughs> you just keep playing it. So this is the Brooka. Welcome to Martin Station, perhaps the most dangerous station in London. I stay here at the request of Sir Singh herself. Uh, what the first uh, seer wants, I get myself, or we pay well to have. Blah blah blah. Um, so I need to find. I'll, I'll I'll have it. I'll do it. Oh wow, this is uh, something I like Dark Horse Comics. Uh, <laughs> interesting. There's some like soda here. The arrow on top is to debuff the mob. Uh, there is no fanned ravagers. Oh, this is nice, man. I've never seen a uh, like like that before. That's pretty. All right. Uh, okay. Where are the uh, ravagers? Let's see. A lot of mobs though, their side as well. Whoa, heal me! Where's my healer? Wow, this is uh, not very cool. Okay, I got heal, is it? Whoa, hang on. Whoa, this is uh, t a bit tough. It's a toughie. Whoa, what are these mobs, man? It's in hurting me. What? And let me heal my pet. Uh, so this is how you heal, heal a pet. And then normally they'll heal me as well. So yep, we, we heal each other. We look after each other. Me and my demon. All right, so that is... Um, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm clearing the map because there is an incentive to do that. Uh, I can spawn the messenger of hell and then make it like... Um, I tried. I knew that it's gonna shoot at me, so I'm kind of dodging it. Uh, you can do a little bit of dodging, kind of smooth and nice. So the uh, so this is um, going down from here. Whoa! Wow! What's this girl doing here? Hate fury. All right. So where where are all the quest target? Ravager. Nope. 
Nope. I don't think it's here. It's like a dead end to me. Yep, it is a dead end. Sometimes they, they spawn. Uh, the moment you approach an area, it will just spawn. So it's rather interesting. So, uh, so far, no one dies. Um, some of my elementals, of course, died, but uh, those are very expandable. So long as my healer is uh, fine. Nope. That's the thing, uh, they disappear. I don't know where they've gone to. Now, this is really annoying. This one of those are really annoying thing in this game. The, the bosses that will disappear. So when they disappear, it could be either way. It can be on, on the other side of it. Sometimes I bother, sometimes I don't. Wow. And whatever body count that you kill doesn't really count because... Because it just doesn't count. So... Oh, this is pretty annoying. Uh, I, I'm kind of like uh, not happy about it right now. Because it disappeared. Yep, this is the one. I think he may have phased out to, to downstairs. So, well, in that case, I'll just go downstairs and chase after him or her or it. Yep, annoying, isn't it? I wish there's a way to stop them from uh, from disappearing. Because it actually went up the uh, this staircase, right? Went down or up. So, let's see where it is. So, well, I mean, uh, nope. Nope. I don't, I don't see it. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, uh, I can't find the uh, messenger of hell. The uh, from hell, um, it, it kind of fades out and disappear. Now I'll try one more time to see where it is. Uh, if not, then I'll just like call it a day here because there's no way for me to find it if it's not um, somewhere I could detect. Uh, doesn't seem like uh, anywhere. I could. I can't really detect it at all. Um, it it just disappeared from me. It just disappeared from me. Actually, nope. Persistence. Maybe it's upstairs. How about that? Nope. I'm so persistent. I'm like, where is my messenger from hell? That is, uh. Oh, wow. I'm shocked. When you're shocked, you cannot use any power. Um. Nope. This, uh, basically it disappeared. It just, uh, vanished. <laughs> It, it went into the another, dimen another dimension and not coming back. Uh, now, now you know what, you know what. I'm a little bit lost right now. Um, yep. So that's kind of. I see. There is the one down below there, right? Um, so it has. Oh wow! Yay! Persistency payoff, and now I better have some good loot. Oh, both of them I can use. So I can have, uh, let's see, well, hard earn. Let's see what they are. So this one is um, 1263. Decrease the cost of Evoca. I got luck and so on. The other one I have like a power gener regeneration. The requirement is rather similar, uh, but there is uh, luck to it. But there's attribute, you know, the attribute is kind of important in this game. So it's very hard for me to decipher. Whoa, this one has a huge stamina cost. The, uh, well, I think mine is better because uh, mine is a de like, like, it buffed my, my demon, right? So, or well, elemental. But anyway. Ah, sorry, guys. Uh, aside, because it's just not that useful. And I don't use tech, kind of like relax. So that is it. I'm, oh, man, should I use this one? Should I not? More luck, but less uh, attribute. Attribute is so important in this game. So, um, man, I guess, um, yeah, I know. So, that is it. Let me just, um, you know, now, now I'm lost. Like, uh, I'm totally lost. Like, where am I going? I uh, know. Like, uh, where should I be going? 
Is it going to be left? Is it going to be right? And uh, and I think this is kind of embarrassing. I think I think I should be keep going down. Yes. Uh, so I need to go, go back down. I should have um, can't remember all this up or down kind of thing. Yep. Uh, not this one here. Let's just uh, spring a little bit. I think it's on the other side. Uh, looking at the gap there. Right, and uh, this is the gap here, and I can. All right, <laughs> heal me! Whoa! Oops, sorry, my mouse is so like <laughs> my fingers are getting tired. Okay, so that is it, uh, zombie. That's easy. All right. Yeah, not a lot of XP though. I mean, um, <laughs> well, surprisingly, the frame rate is still still holding up pretty well. So now this is the Liverpool approach. Hmm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, now this is Liverpool approach. Let's see what's going to happen, shall we? Alright, so this is the one. Charing Cross approach, where is it? Charing Cross approach is the. No idea. I'll find out soon. Fear. That was a fear. Whoa, this map have to be a like, bit careful. There's some flying object, like they have like everything for everybody. Use an AoE. There's like a whoa. A bit of a mayhem here. Well, I think all these things I need to kill off anyway, so I need to go back a little bit to get it sorted. Yep, so done. <laughs> I'm very very surprised that my frame rate is still holding up. But uh, if if no if there's no lag, I'll show you my setting at the end of the video, keeping my fingers crossed. Oh, there's a bomb there. What is it? Flash bomb. What? I was being interrupted, is it? Ta da! So I have a flash bomb and I I have this uh, feeling that I may miss out the other one because it's so easy to miss things out here in this uh, this game sometimes you are in one tunnel but not in the other tunnel and I re realize that yeah you may have um, missed out something It looks like a very uh, scary place. Whoa! This is a messenger from hell. Use. Uh... Ooh! Wow! Nice! 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 What well, is a whole bunch of stuff behind me? Oops! Panic! Don't panic! Don't panic! I'm being uh, shocked, I think. Oops, can't really see too fast. So I'm going to heal my pet a little bit so that. Um, and I'll get healed anyway. Immediately. So it's kind of a good deal. Oh, I found the other bomb, flash bomb. Don't know what the story about it though, by the way. So there's a fear, or oh, one shot them if I if I may. I need forty five mobs to spawn the uh, messenger from hell. Very relaxing this game. Whoa, it's like a dinosaur. They they do grow up fast. Alright, very good, very good. So let me just do my quest here. 
I hope my uh my my elemental is able to do whatever they need to do. That's why I pay you big money. What? What happened? Yep. So I need to speak with someone in the uh, monument station, which I think I should before I before I uh, finish this zone. Alright, let's go. Oh, this aren't this adorable? Don't know what it is. I want to keep them as pets. There's fear. There's the uh, damage over time. So I can go left and go right. I could go left. If I go right, right, it's more like um, just continue the ground a little bit. Message from hell. Yep. No match. No match. I could like continue doing a little bit of this. I don't know whether I need to or not. I mean, I don't think I need to, to be honest. Let's see what's the next map. Well, I, I'll go to the Liverpool station. So, um, then we go back to Monumental to... No, I don't think I'll, like, uh, I'm just thinking whether I can get the uh, 45 or not. I don't think I will be able to, so, the, uh, I, I probably just, like, um... <laughs> but just that, you know, because this game is so therapeutic, uh, you keep doing whatever you're doing, I think, and then time flies, one hour have passed, and, and then, I don't know, this, right now I feel like, um, uh, quite a while. Alright, uh, nope, I don't think I'll be able to make it uh, for the Messenger of Help, so I'll just give up from here. Um, just head to the station itself, talk to Jessica, I hope Jessica is there, then um, that would be quite nice. Um, I haven't had any uh, good upgrade of gear for a while though, I mean I'm a little bit concerned, but uh, this game the progress is a little bit slow to be honest. So um, I don't know, maybe it is what it is. Okay, let's see, Liverpool Street Station. This is the last ad. Alright, it looks rather dark. Uh, left or right, guys? Nope. <laughs> what a question. Ooh, there's an escalator as well. Funny. Okay, that's my stash and my stuff and uh, world is a lot of quest here. So let's see. So, uh, oh wow, this is... Oh, check this out, guys. This is Jessica. Oh, goodness me. Ta -da! Frankly, your kind makes me a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> she looked like a zombie, seriously, so white and uh, the eyes are like going somewhere. Okay, well Matt Magic uh you know has informed me redemption of your situation according to Raymond the artifact em emanates from the deepest level of the uh, Natropolis, an area long infested by hell. Stand Whoa. Up. Travel to Natropolis. I think she looked like um like a zombie, Lady uh, Sylvanas, maybe. <laughs> she look uh, pretty, pretty, pretty dead to me. So many Templar are concerned that I will be accompanying you to the Necropolis. Well, um, so what, she'll be there with me or what? Um, and, uh, oh, it's a Lyra. Okay, so... Whoa, my, my reputation fast approaches legend. Oh, she's going to Netropolis with me. Fantastic, I've got like a mission. Now, the um, then of course there's a lot of like uh, stuff that I need to uh, can do. In short ditch, as well as the uh, wanted poster as well. And uh, tunnel, so it's quite a lot of things. Um, now, of course, what I need to do is to make sure that uh, I go and turn in and get some reward if there is any reward. reward. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, it's been a kind of fun event, I would say. Yeah, I'm trying to get a... Ah, there you go. 
it's been an overall fun event. I kind of enjoy what I'm seeing right now. Finally met Jessica, uh, and I'm approaching a legend. And uh, I think as and when I got more exciting things to share, I'll share that with you. A little bit of live playing like this one, a little bit of like an edited video to be shorter. So, you know, in case you want to see how a game plays like or how smooth everything is, I mean, this is it. As I promised, the setting I use is uh, this one here. Uh, not very uh, fascinating. Shader quality is down to medium. Uh, shadow detail is down to low. But uh, at least the viewing distance is very high, so I can see things afar. Um, model is just like details high, the rest of it is medium, medium. Uh, triple buffering buffering is good for frame rate, but the rest of it are just DPS it is. Um, so, I mean, uh, it may work for you, it may not, but so far it's been a pretty smooth kind of journey, except some very isolated moment where there's a story mode and there's a lot of like uh, maybe logic around things. But all in all, it's, it's all right. I mean, you guys have seen it. Uh, I've played it. It looks rather smooth. I hope uh, you're convinced in th about that. But uh, I mean, mid-December come, the developer will release the uh, Hellgate Tokyo together with, with some of the fixes. So I'm hoping that the, uh, the problem with the frame rate will be fixed by then. All right, see you next time. Goodbye.